I am going to show you how to use a square to make different shapes, how to cut it into different shapes so that you can use it for a collage or different projects. So if you have a square, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half to make two rectangles. So to make two rectangles, I just cut it right down the middle. So you can see two rectangles make a square. So if I wanted to make them into rectangles, that's all I'd have to do. I could also make them into smaller squares. So right now I have two rectangles. If I cut them in half again, I'd make four small squares. So four small squares put together makes a bigger square. Or two small squares make two rectangles. So I'm going to put these squares off to the side. And I'm going to next, I'm going to make two triangles. Can you guess how I would cut these to make two triangles? That's right, I would cut them from corner to corner. So I'm going to cut just like this from one corner to the other. And now instead of a square, I have two triangles. So two triangles together can make a square. I can also turn these triangles sideways and put them together to make a bigger triangle like this. Or I could cut them in half to make smaller triangles. So I'm going to cut them one more time right down the middle and now I have smaller triangles. And I can put those four small triangles back together to make a square. Or if you turn it on its side, a diamond. I'm going to put my triangles off to the side and let's see what else we can make. This time, I'm going to make an octagon. Do you know how many sides an octagon has? eight sides, like a stop sign. So what we're going to do to make an octagon is we're going to cut off the corners, but we're going to leave a little space on the edge here. So I'm going to cut the corners off of my square. I made an octagon. Oh, that side's a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll have to fix that a little bit. Sometimes that happens. You have to keep trying a little. I made an octagon and then I also made four little triangles because I cut those triangles off the corners. So when I put the corners back on, I make a square. Or if I take those triangles off, I have my octagon. So we'll put all those pieces off to the side and see what else we can make. Next, I'm going to make a circle. And circles can be a little tricky. You might have to try it a few times, but I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. So I'm going to start by cutting off the corners just like I did for the octagon. So I'm going to cut off the corners. Just like that. I can put all my little triangles off to the side. So now I have a shape like this. It's still not a circle though, right? So then I'm going to take and I'm going to cut off the corners again. So you just kind of keep trimming down those corners and keep trimming down those corners and trimming down those corners and going around and around until you get something that's kind of like a circle. So now it's kind of like a circle but it's a little lumpy. So that's when I can take it, my scissors and I can just go around the edges and kind of smooth those edges out. Just like that. Smooth those edges out. all the way around until I get a circle. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to make lots of little rectangles. So to make lots of little rectangles I'm going to cut just like this.
Just little strips, pretty easy, pretty simple. So now I have all of these different shapes that were made from a square that I can use to make different things. So for example, I might use a circle for an eyeball. And I know that an eyeball would have something else inside of it. It wouldn't just be one circle. So maybe I will cut another circle out of a different color. So I'm cutting a circle out of white. And then it's a smaller circle. So then what I can do is I can put them on top of each other. And now it looks more like an eyeball. I can also do something like take these little skinny rectangles that I made and make eyelashes. So the more shapes that you make and the more ways that you use them can make your project more interesting. Maybe I want them to be shorter. I could cut them so they're not quite so long. Or I could use these for fingers or skinny little arms, right? I could use the circle for a wheel. Maybe I don't want my eyeball to be a circle. Maybe I want it to be triangle shape. Or maybe I want it to be an octagon. Just by putting things together in different ways, you can make all different things for your picture. So now I want you to try making some of these different shapes to make the eyes and nose and mouth for your shape robot. Try it out and see what you can create.